everybody. Time at Odd Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well this morning. So we have an update on Francine here and looking at her based off the satellite imagery, not as impressive as it was last night. There is a look as if there is wind shear affecting it on the north side and a little bit of dry air maybe coming into play here towards the northeast side of the storm and eastern parts. I don't think this is going to ultimately stop this storm. It's not going to slow. It's not going to completely uh, weaken it, but it is slowing down the strengthening process. This is still slated to become a Category Two hurricane. We still have, from the looks of it, an impact for Louisiana on the way from a pretty strong hurricane at that. We also still have tropical storm watches and warnings across the Texas coast and our hurricane warnings, of course, towards central Louisiana now. This has been taking more and more of a jog to the east here based off of the uh, predictions here. Whereas before we were all the way over towards the upper Texas coast, we're now kind of pushing towards central Louisiana. So like I said, if you're over towards somewhere like New Orleans, Baton Rouge, you still need to be watching this. In any case, though, we'll go ahead and take a look at the spaghetti models here, and you'll see the indicator that indicator that we're getting that trend off to the east a bit more now. This, like I said, we were more or less over here previously. That's a bad circle, I know, but and yesterday we were actually more over here towards maybe west central Louisiana coast, but now we're at central so like i said if you're over towards new orleans and baton rouge here regardless of whether you get a direct landfall or not the impacts or the amount of impacts that you will be getting will be on the rise here storm surge will become an issue as well as we continue to go forward here we'll be doing a live stream later this afternoon to kind of get into the details with that that being said let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling here We'll go ahead and take a look at the environmental factors coming into play after we look at the spaghetti models for strength here. As we said before, this is still anticipated to become a Category 2. Quite a few of the spaghetti models are latching onto that still. But, like I said before, big wild card right now is the wind shear. There's some pretty strong wind shear on the northern side of the storm right here, as indicated on this map. You can even see it, how it's affecting it with the satellite over here in the top right corner. So we continue to go forward. That wind shear does lighten up ever so slightly as the storm pushes off to the north here. Maybe early in the morning we might deal with a little bit more, which may keep it from strengthening faster. I do still think that there's a chance that this could become a stronger Category 2. I'm not so sure about Category 3 right now, but we'll have to see what happens with that. But it's still not out of the realm of possibility at this point. And then, of course, eventually a storm makes landfall and we start to see this weekend. And another thing we talked about was a little bit of dry air coming in. It's not a lot of dry air, but it's still enough to kind of keep the storm a little bit weaker over here. You can see this little small brown area that I'm looking at over here. And you continue to see that become more prevalent as time goes on, as we head later into the evening here. Also, a little bit of dry air on the south side may help weaken the storm just a little bit here. But of course, like I said before, this still is anticipated to strengthen pretty notably here. This uh, model here is actually calling for a 973 millibar low. So that still is a very strong and dangerous hurricane here on the way to Louisiana. So you need to be paying extra close attention if you're over here anywhere to the west of Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and of course in the city itself. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and just make this a full-on tropical update at this point because we still have two other systems that we're keeping an eye on here. This is Invest 92L we've been talking about. Not necessarily a threat for land, but the chance of it developing has been in, uh, decreasing now. Whereas before we were up to about maybe almost an 80% chance, we've now dropped back to a 40% chance over the next 7 days and within the next 48 hours. So time frame might be narrowing for 92L here. This other disturbance behind that is doing a little bit better, but if I'm being honest, when I looked at both of these last night on satellite, these did not look all that impressive. Still not impressed with this other disturbance behind 92L, but they have given this one up to a 70% chance of developing within the next seven days, so still keeping an eye on that. 
things may change with this as well because I do think that we're still going to be dealing with wind shear over here along with the Saharan dust. So I don't know what 92L may do, but I do think the one behind it, it doesn't have a uh, invest designation just yet, but I do think it's on the way to getting one if it can organize. But if it does, I do expect this one to probably end up turning out the sea as well, just like 92 would if it does form. It's going to get caught up by this area of high pressure here and it's going to get steered out to sea not really be much of a threat to land at this point as far as beyond as far as looking beyond that point wind shear does lighten up over that main development region the big problem as we've mentioned plenty of times before in recent tropical outlooks and updates has been the saharan dust and it is still very much a problem right now the one thing that that Invest 92L will do from the looks of things, regardless of wind shear, is push some of that dust out and it might give this other storm system a better chance of developing. And then also it clears out just enough for maybe a couple other uh, features to come off the West African coast. So we'll still be keeping an eye on that from this point. But in any case though, our main focus is going to be on Francine. We'll still be watching other systems that'll be that could potentially form in the Atlantic. But the main thing, of course, right now is the preparation for a potential landfall over towards Louisiana at this point. But that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button, decimate that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. I got to go to work. Until then, take care.